Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. Breath of the Wild wall climbing veterans may know this trick, but others may not. You can use this trick to regain stamina while climbing. Flashbacks intensify. But why climb when you could build this cool stake cart? Ideal for curved walls where balloons fall, and this lets you climb walls without using any stamina. <laughs> Peanut's doing this slowly to show us the process, but you can actually get quite speedy with a bit of practice. Surprise, mother... Blaze Alchemist on the Hyrule Engineering subreddit has built this sweet two-stage vehicle. Retracted big wheels can be deployed by activating the steering stick to help with sharp turns, reversing, and hills that small wheels have difficulty with. And it's time for House of the Day. It's been a while since we've featured a House of the Day. My bad. This is Lord Flapping's penthouse apartment. The house has beautiful views over Hyrule and it also makes a good launch pad. Spoiler warning for the Mokhtarok boss fight. Skip ahead roughly 1 minute 20 seconds if you don't want the water temple spoiled. So Mokhtarok takes on a sludge shark form to hurt you. That sludge can be washed away with water from Sidon or a hydrant. Zeb TTV has built this amazing sprinkler system that you can place in the center of the boss arena to clear away any sludge and expose Mokhtarok's non-sludge form. <laughs> Mukturok goes into his second phase and puts sludge all over the arena. The whole thing is literally washed away in seconds. Genius. The machine consists of a hover stone and a wheel that spins two arms containing eight hydrants. Now this is pod racing. So a few episodes back we showed you shades to stabilize tank design. Blaze Alchemist has built upon Shadester's design. Trapping Link between two springs makes him completely invisible to some enemies.
time for the prestigious Build of the Day Award. Puzzle-headed T has built a pilotable T-Rex. Kinda. Did this cost 63 Zonite? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. It's also effective against flux constructs. A few days back we covered Dude Does and his ceramic pot release mechanism. When the pot breaks, his hover bike is released. Penguin Poacher has found a different use case for ceramic pots, detachable payloads. Fish has created an interesting segue by stacking five palm trees on top of each other. His footage ends exactly as you thought it might. Most people see the dragons as wild beasts majestically roaming the skies above Hyrule. Cannon and Butter saw Din Ral as prime real estate to open a surf and turf restaurant. Even the staff uniform is in keeping. If you've watched previous episodes, you'll know that you can use Icy Meat as a frictionless base for vehicles. Unlike ice, Icy Meat doesn't actually melt, so it's great for builds. Okasen has built on this concept to develop the Meat Slider 5000. She's placed Icy Meat on the underside of a fan, kept upright by a stabilizer. While it can't fly, it can hover glide down steep hills. It's also amphibious and works well on water. As it only uses a single fan, it's surprisingly energy efficient. And if you want more power, you can add a second fan at the cost of some efficiency. This Korok said he was too tired to walk. What followed was a cinematic masterpiece by Penguin Poacher.
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.